Hello everyone. This video is going to be about section ordering for fills. You're probably already familiar with section ordering, but if you're not, section ordering basically determines how a fill is going to be filled. So if we draw a star and we turn it into top stitches, it will fill in a certain order. Right now it's just adjusting. And the order can be looked at by looking at the Edit Fill Order button. You can see that there, in this case, there's five sections, 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And these different colors represent the different sections. And the reason there are sections is that um, fills are just a bunch of parallel lines. And so when it gets to this transition, um, it has to split into two groupings. And that's how it works. Okay, so normally when you do a fill, it's an automatic, and it automatically determines how to do this. But you can do it manually. So like, for example, let's say we wanted to start the star here, and we wanted to end the star here. Okay, the way we do that is we can split a section. So section 2 right here, we can split it at this point. And the way we do that is we say split section and we type in 2, and then we estimate what percentage it is. So if you see the section 2 starts here, um, it's probably about maybe 80% of the fill or an 85% of the fill is where we want it to split. And we got pretty close, so that's pretty close. So now it's split it into, um, it's split it into several sections here. And you can see that uh, it doesn't exactly end where we want. We want it to end here. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to switch to manual mode. And we're going to have to adjust this. So if we want to step through the design. We can just click here where it says Reset Path Selection. And it'll go to the first section. And we show boundary. You can see where we want to stay within our bounds. It'll go from Section 0 to Section 1 to Section 2 to section three, section four, and section five. Now, if we wanted section five to end um, at the right place, we could just change the direction. And you can see it ends over here, which is not exactly what we want. So we can, so, so, so we change the direction it goes, so it, it fills in this direction, so it would end there. But then the start end direction, we can change that to reverse it and now it ends approximately where we want. So after we do that, um, we want to do find paths. So we'll find a new path for this. So we can go and see how it paths out. This one paths out like that. This one um, goes all the way over to the end here. We don't want that. We'll reverse it. So that it end, starts here and ends here. And then we'll go to three. Three ends there. And four. And five. So that should work out OK. Let's see what it looks like when we stitch it out. You can tell if you have something like this that you probably didn't do it the way you wanted, right? Because you shouldn't be able to see top stitches like that. So we're going to go back and we're going to go ahead and manually path it instead. So we're going to just reset all the paths and then we're going to go through it manually. So it ends here. Let's make it end on the other side so we're closer to where we want to go. And then we're going to click the next one and we want this path to go to there. So we're going to add it. And we only need to click one point because Essentially, it will fill in the rest of the points if it, you know, is a direct shot. So then this guy here, section one, we'll go back. It ends over there. We want to switch that. So it ends over here. And then when we go to section two, sections two start is right near it. And then we go to section three. Three, we don't have to do anything. It's just going to go where it needs to go. Four, obviously we have to do a path, so we're going to do add. And the white space here that's left over, as you can see, 
is not stitched yet, so we're safe to go there. And then and we can see that path um, four, go back to path four, ends here. Um, and then path five starts here. So we want to reverse path four so that the end is there. And then where the start is, is right there. So now when we go look at this, you notice that that stitch will be gone. Well, it's not really gone. It's still there. That's, so that, that will be, that'll turn out nice. Now in this case, we didn't order it um, ourselves as far as what order would go in. So let's go ahead and make this a little more complicated. Um, I'm going to go ahead and change this back to auto. And then we're going to put some other stuff in here. So we're going to add a hole by putting a circle in the center of the star. And then we're going to subtract it by shifting the star and then clicking the hole. And let's do the same thing where we want this to end there. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do this all from scratch. We're going to press edit fill order and we're going to reset everything. So nothing is determined. And you can see that we have a couple sections here. We have a section eight here that just kind of showed up. Um, this one, we can split this section up if we want. If we, you can only split sections in the auto mode because there's only one split section you can have. And so section five is the split we want. Section five, um, yeah, so we're going to go ahead and delete the split we had before. And we're going to go, oh, the reason that was split, because the split was there before. That was silly me. Um, yeah, I didn't know that. Okay, so we're going to split section five. And we want it to split about here. So you got to kind of just play around with the numbers. Um, five starts here. So we turn off all the turn off all of them you can see that five well then I can do that okay go back to auto five we'll go ahead and say split section and then we'll put five in and our percentage split I would say is maybe 70 Let's see if I get lucky no I went the wrong way so it's 30 um, five and then 30. That's about right. We can change that to a little lower number. Let's say 28. And we're pretty close. All right. So now we have an endpoint that we want. Let's say we want to have the start point be here. So we can start section ordering this. So the, the way we would do this is we go into manual mode. And now we can go ahead and start section ordering. And we'll click on this one first. Um, we don't really want that one. We want this one instead. So press delete. We're going to do this one first. This one next. This one next. This one next. This one next. This one. This one. This one. And then our final one, where we want to end up over here. We're going to click this button again. And now we've ordered the sections. Let's reset all the start paths. We don't really need that. Um, and let's reset all the directions. So essentially, we're starting from scratch. Um, that's not really what I do. <laughs> let's do this again. I'm sorry. All right, we'll go ahead and start here. Do this, do that, do that. All right. All right, now we got at least the fill direction or the the fill order is what we want. Now the fill directions, we can turn this on and we want these to be reversed because we want to go backwards. We want to go backwards here. And the rest of these are going forward, so we can leave those as is. We're done with that. Now we can go and start pathing it. So we click this to start pathing it. We have show boundary turned on, which will show you where you should go inside. You don't want to draw any uh, lines outside. Um, 
So you see section one's there. And then actually the line goes down the edge here. That's okay, but it's not best practice. We kind of want to go down the center. So we're going to put just one point there. And then you can see the end of section zero and the start of section two are right next to each other. So we don't even have to add anything at that point. And we can see that they're again next to each other with a purple, so we don't have to do anything there. We do have to do something here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to reverse this first. We're going to put E4 over here because ideally that's kind of a tight spot. It's easy to get at here. So we're going to add a path to go to the start. All right, and it goes from E4 to S7, um, just right in where it should go, so that doesn't need anything. Section 6, E7 goes along the edge here, and that would work, but it might pop out, so we're going to add that here, just one little point. We'll keep it in the interior. And then you can see that Section 6 ends here, and Section 8, we didn't reverse Section Oh. Huh, that's strange. This section eight needs to be reversed. Okay, so we reverse section eight. That probably is because that's a split section, so it acts weird. Um, so we got E6 and S8 there, and it ends here. And then we want to see what our last section is, where it ends there. So we want to reverse, we want to press forward again. And we want this to start there. We're going to reverse this to forward. And then you can see uh, section 8 ends there. And then it goes and starts here. And we want this to end here at this side. But actually, I'm sorry, we don't want that. We want it to end there. Oh gosh, I'm confusing both you and myself here. We want it to end over here. All right, so we put this back. The end of section eight is there. And the start is over here. That's fine. Um, it goes through the section. We can probably add a path here just to kind of get it down the center. So it looks nice. And that's how you do it.